Hello there, look, look who's here. Today we're looking at the Hermit. Yay, this is the Hermit from the Night Sun Tarot. And I'm going to have to uh, steal myself here because, you know, I could talk about the Hermit for days and days and days. But when you think about the Hermit, let's say the Hermit is the the wise teacher, the elder. He's the, uh, he's the, the, the energy that you look to for 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 wisdom beyond the the letter of the law if you like um, he advises you to look in, inside you inside yourself when you're embodying the the hermit vibe it, it really is something that you need to look inside yourself and and you know the answers are within uh, again i'm i'm going to prevent myself from rabbiting on about the hermit too much because we're specifically looking at the night sun hermit so, what can be said about this dude? And it's a great hermit. It really is. Um, a lot of similarities with the, the with the uh, the archetypal image of the hermit that we're we're used to. Um, he is an a, an older gentleman. All that you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that he has to be a man. Um, he is. He's got robes. In this case, he's got red robes, which I can um, totally identify with. Um, he has a, a staff. And interestingly, this staff, there's a serpent coiled around it. Also, I, I also find it quite interesting that the staff is reminiscent of the wands in the uh, in the Night Sun deck. Um, again, you have this lamp. The lamp is an incredibly important motive for the Hermit. Um, I mean, in our original decks, that, that original um, image, that archetypal image of the old man, um, it was you know associated with saturn and he had a an hourglass instead of a lamp um but tarot law has kind of switched that round a bit perhaps um and added the lamp that, that the idea that the of the hermit illuminating the way for you what i like about this is the the lamp is given off this this geometric pattern here which is indeed uh, represented on the back of the the, the night sun cards um importantly so this hermit has a blue hand in fact the blue ink is running off a little bit and that tells me uh, in particular the night sun that once upon a time he was the hierophant and there's that blue hand i'm convinced i am absolutely convinced that he's evolved if you like he's moved on from that dogmatic law because he's not about being um he's not about following the law he's he's, he's about following the, the law of yourself does that make sense it does it does to me so yeah um he's also got a really kind of um th there's a wild vibe about him i don't know if you can see this but his eyes are red he's got red face paint his hair is this it's almost tribal you get this tribal vibe about him it's one of his his jewelry is his bling if you like his hermit bling is very tribal yeah i guess uh, it's a cracking card. It really is. I do. I do love the Night Sun Hermit. Tells us that it's associated with the uh, the constellation. Sorry, the sign of Virgo, and a lot of people have that have a problem with that. You know, you you do get a sort of a Saturnian air about the Hermit, but um, I, I don't think this is the correct place in which to discuss how Virgo can um, be matched with the. The hermit, the idea of prudence, I think, is the is the the main one. You have the uh, Hebrew letter of Yod up here, um, and I, I always love telling people this. But uh, you know, number nine, the, this Hebrew letter of Yod is, is in fact the, the tenth letter. Um, I, I think in popular culture, one of the most recognisable hermits is from Star Wars, Yoda. Yod, Yoda, get it? I don't think that's an accident, but there you go. I always like telling people that, but there's the Hebrew letter up there. Um, what more is there to say about this hermit? Well, I can just tell you what the... Uh, if I can remember, in fact, I'm, I'm getting all a bit blubbery. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit <laughs> talking about the hermits. <laughs> One day I'm going to make like a 32-hour video about the hermit and what he means. But <laughs> Anyway, so um, some of the keywords associated with the book, uh, with the Night Sun book, is... Um, Positive crisis, silence, detachment, passage, a sense, maestro, and I believe I'm I'm certain that maestro is one of the keywords to the night sun hierophant as well. 
Um, what else? What else? Where was I? A maestro. Um, latent capacity. Prudence. There it is. Secrets. Isolation. Self-sacrifice. Um, Ill-dignified. You can think about stagnancy. Um, it, you know, interestingly, if the hermit comes up reversed or ill-dignified, it usually tells you that it's it's time to stop spending so much time with yourself and get out back out into the world. You have that danger of um, be becoming stagnant and, you know, slowing so much that you stop. But there you go. The Night Sun Majors always come with a question. And the question posed by the Night Sun Tarot for the hermit is, what must I give up to end the crisis? Now, there's a question for you, isn't it? What must I give up to end the crisis? Sometimes we just hold on to some things too hard that they start to rot within ourselves, don't they? But there you go. Okay, one last final look at the Night Sun's Hermit. If I can get it to focus. Thank you. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> 